Hello, boys and girls, my name is HotsusT and uh, welcome back to Beltless Victoria, where we are nearing the end, or at least the end of the normal vanilla game. We will still have probably a, a few episodes uh, fixing, improving until uh, we reach our goal. Uh, but then first we would have to figure out what our goal is. So last time we managed to create this setup with two delivery train stations. So we have all ingredients to produce a satellite and we have done so twice so far. And now I think it's time to build up a rocket silo. Uh, place it and then also see how we can uh, add the output and input that we need for the rest there and I was thinking maybe we could do something like this then this might be um, train limit one. Um, that would then be rocket parts, parts delivery. Right. And and here we would have signals. And then That will that might yeah that 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 will work. That will then be space science pickup and we will add an icon to that. So here we will load there and we will have unloading stations here and this one wants to be that and we have rocket fuel and rocket control units steel chests and then let's bring that up here and then we have another row there And there. These ones probably all want to be limited to one stack so that we are not using too much space up there right then we have the four things we need to input in our train in our rocket let's bring that up to here 
And then we shall have that going this way. Ooh, out of wooden chests. Okay, that seems to be the time when I run out of everything to go get fetch some more and probably also gather the ingredients so I can craft a, a rocket silo. All right, that might take a while, but um, then we should see how we how we manage there with the rocket silo. And of course we need then some more trains on the network. I managed to extend the line up here a bit. So we have a bit of, uh, of room here and I crafted myself a um, rocket silo. If I can find it, there it is. And fits nicely with all the inputs and outputs on one side. So we do have room on the other three side for beacons. So what we need here, productivity, um, uh, we can, well, maybe not for the, for the first one, uh, don't need um, the, the auto launch checked here. Um, but now we need two more trains. So we have two more sitting here. So we can remove all that and say, go to space science loading, space science pickup, full cargo there. Uh, and uh, we probably will skip maybe after two rocket starts so we can do a bit more uh, research there. Then we go to train fueling. Train fueling, uh, that's of course as always five seconds. And then go to space science delivery, uh, empty cargo. That's that, and then this one, uh, here we go for waiting, waiting low density structures, and uh, we will have Loading low density structures. Um, there it is. Then we have rocket fuel uh, or um, the uh, rocket control units. Does not really matter the uh, order there. Um, we will need train fueling, squeeze that in here, and we will have um, rocket fuel. So now here we will have to have an item count, and we say bring me 100. Because unfortunately all these items only stack to, to 10. So with 400 items in the wagon, wagon is, is always already full. Um, so in order to not overload, we will just add the wagons to third uh, and um, a little bit of uh, wiggling room um, should we uh, load one or two item too many from certain type. And then we go to, um, what was it called? 
Um, rocket control, rocket, rocket parts delivery. Empty cargo. Um, train fueling time passed five seconds. And that's it, I think. Yeah, that's the that's the pickup train. That should be able to to load. Otherwise, we have to extend that one further back. Uh, we need signals there. So the other trains can come in as well. And now it's only a matter of time waiting for the trains to deliver. And hopefully we can then see a, a rocket starting. Um, with a train delivering a hundred items that means for one part we need 10 items so we can craft 10 parts so all in all we need 10 train deliveries for for this one so i am thinking maybe we should add another train at least for the for the delivery there um, so that we have a bit more frequent deliveries and i think or at least i i hope i don't know um we will have um enough material um, in order to in order to uh, fill up the train so where are we up um, heading for rocket fuel uh, that's that's here so let's wait for the train to arrive here then we can copy the schedule and as you can see we have run full on rocket fuel and um, we're actually backlogging here yeah at this point all the refineries are working but that's probably because we then basically convert everything to petroleum gas. Where is the train? Where is the train? It's probably this one. So let's copy that and add that one here and send that one off as well and then let's head back to the to our rocket silo to see how we are doing there and waiting for the first train to arrive so we can hopefully see uh, some action going on there and then we can decide do we need uh, beacons for the speed here or not because I have the feeling we will not manage to deliver the items fast enough so that it uh, actually matters but in the end it's more a question of uh, how many science pack can we uh, get out and we just have to to work towards that goal and see that we can deliver 
more goodies to start more rockets and we are unloading unloading is fast and we are producing units great so it will take a while until we are done with our first rocket but um, we will for sure um, enjoy that part by the looks of it we do have a slight imbalance as we seem to be missing low density structures and it is not obvious why that is because we need all three ingredients here for in equal amounts uh, but even if we look we can see yeah probably low density structures we have exactly 100 and then at least for the rocket fuel units i saw we had more than 100 and if that's also true for the the rocket control units not only for the rocket fuel uh, then that could explain why we get into this imbalance so what i did with the train schedule is also added here the in activity part because if we have more than one train delivering um, it's probably a bit better to keep them moving around restocking items so that way even if we are full of uh, rocket control units and rocket fuel but are missing low density structures the train will make around get 100 more low density structures uh, maybe is still uh, stocked up on on these on the wagon so will not be added um, and we can replenish uh, the, the the missing port there and uh, rocket is a bit over 50 percent so uh, we are making a quite nice uh, progress here um, so i'm i did not exactly time it uh, when we started with the with the build of the rocket but uh, i think i had a slower rocket builds going on and there it is the rocket is finished our first rocket so hopefully inserting the satellite also works yep it's in so let's launch it uh, and i will not run along uh, because i would hit those uh, solar panel arrays um, but we can follow here on the map until the rocket disappears and as you can see until we get to that point it's it's almost 500 hours of uh, gameplay and we are not done yet we are not done yet so we will look at the statistics uh, at the at the end again uh, but of course now we have to focus uh, on getting um, the space signs out and uh, get the, the whole thing rolling um, because what we want to achieve in this playthrough is uh, uh, have uh, somewhat um, higher um science production than 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 i normally have uh, usually i aim at one science per second 
So uh, calculated on the, the, the minute, that would be uh, 60. And if we have a look, we are not there yet with uh, the uh, blue signs. Um, we are certainly not there with space signs. We are not there by a long shot with the with the yellow one. And then red, blue and purple, not even on the map, did not produce any in the last hour. And if we have a look uh, down here, Um, we are missing one inserter there, but basically I could imagine, yeah, here probably not, not loading enough and when loading then uh, loading, um, unloading here, um, and backing up things, and where do we have red one? Yeah. Yeah, probably here we should have the uh, inactivity uh, thing as well. Uh, otherwise we would run into exactly that problem right so as you can see uh, in order to boost our science pack production um, we need to tweak things and uh, it's no good to produce a lot of science pack we also have to use them. And this train, ooh. Um, we want to have it only that full. That's uh, 8,000 science packs, so that's the same amount as any auto train that delivers sense and we can mark this this checked box here and I think with the uh, amount we deliver here for rocket parts we are pretty good I am not so sure if we can can keep up with the production of the satellites but that's then uh, just another problem that we will have to solve eventually all right hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time when we are once again going around our base and see how we can improve until then goodbye